Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some cheese popcorn, lots of cheese popcorn. Uh, these were sent to us from Austin and Amanda in Wisconsin, so thank you to Austin and Amanda. She wrote me a cheat sheet here, and I'm so glad she did, or Austin did. I don't know which one of you did, uh, but thank you for doing that because one of these I would have said completely wrong, and I know I did during the box opening. Um, we have Bucky Badger cheese flavored popcorn from Verona, Wisconsin. It was $4.99 from Woodman's Market. This is 10 ounces. It's pretty size bag. This is the one they wrote out. Capsules. I, there's no way I would have said that. Capsules. No, K-O-E. I would have said Copsules. Copsules. Yeah. We want, we want to put the O in there. I would have never said capsule, so thank you. A cheese popcorn from Sister Bay, Wisconsin. Sister Bay. Uh, $3.99 from Woodman's Markets. And then we have Coco G's. I like that name. Coco G's Wisconsin Cheddar from Union Grove, Wisconsin. $3.69 from Woodman's Markets. So all of these were bought at Woodman's Markets. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that they're able to sell all of these that they, they must have a following you know from different people to be able to keep them all in stock that's wisconsin it's cheese <laughs> yeah but i mean you know some people must just buy the, the oh just a certain brand the store. certain brand you know i'm sure they have their fans so this maybe they have a big wall of cheese popcorn i know the original gourmet cocoa g's old-fashioned quality wisconsin cheddar cheese popcorn made with real cheddar cheese five ounces 142 grams one cup is 143 calories and there are seven cups in here it's cocoa.gspopcorn.com and i'm gonna just that's my to make it easier so we won't get popcorn everywhere well that's a thick seal too those are hard though all right, here we go. I like these pieces with the big yeah. heads on them. Yeah, I don't know what they're called. Mm. Look how fat. That is that cheese is nice. It is nice. It's strong. I like the texture too. Kind of, it kind of seems like it's it's going to sound awful. It kind of gives you a pasty kind of texture. It's strong. It's not. It's not um, I mean, it's funky good. cheese. It's yeah. it's nice. It it has a lot on it. Yeah. Now the popcorn itself is a little soft, so it's not crunchy, crunchy. It is softer. It's not. No, it's not a, cr a crunchy. No, popcorn. it's a softer popcorn. But you know what? I could eat that bag. I don't mind. Oh yeah, it's all. very very good. And the cheese has a little bit, just a touch of saltiness to it. Yeah, I would like that. This is the Bucky Badger. And my friend Rachel commented, she said that Bucky Badger is like the state, like their their college mm. mascot. Does, gotcha. is, does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one ounce, 28 grams. One and two thirds cup is 160 calories. And I'm sure I've heard that before. However, we're not into um, sports. sports. And so we don't keep track of any of that. Okay. Jeez, this is just... No, this is good. Uh, this is fine. Okay. It does look a little different. These are the, we comment on the other ones being the big fat popcorn. This is almost bigger. <laughs> look at those brains. Gluten free. Something special from Wisconsin. Again, it's a softer popcorn. I think those are stronger. You think? Mm-hmm. I do wish the popcorn was a little crunchier. Hmm. Let me try this again. That's what I do. I don't know. It's very close. <laughs> They're very, very similar to each other. Mm -hmm. I like the Coco G's. I think I do too, just a little bit. You know why? Because I do think it's a little bit stronger. I think it has, it seems, I'd like to look at the salt. The salt, yeah. I, I you probably way. won't be able to read that because it's small. Oh, that's tiny. <laughs> I got new contacts. It this seems like the, the Coco G's has more Mine, salt. Mine's 200. Okay, salt. 
Sodium. Oh, uh, 180. <laughs> so you're Isn't the nuts? Well, then why would you like this one more? I think the cheese flavor comes through a little bit more. Maybe that's it. The texture, though, the popcorn are basically the same. They're both very, mm -hmm. very soft. Uh, yeah, but I. Honestly, they're both good. I would eat either one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to turn them down. No, but if they were in the aisle at the store. Then I'm picking the Coco G's. Yeah. Okay, now we might decide we want this one. Uh, capsules. And this is like, it says double cheddar on it. Capsules. Uh, yes. Made with double cheddar cheese popcorn. A Wisconsin tradition since 1974. One ounce, 28 grams. One cup is 160 calories. Available online, gluten free, GMO free. Um, okay, here we go. These all look exactly the same. I know. I always have a picture at the end. The picture is going to look like cheese popcorn. No um, difference. They're all very similar to each other. It's like splitting hairs. I mean, yeah, it's really. I mean, truly, they're they're all good. And what's weird is they're all they're all soft. Like like I know I've I've had cheddar cheddar cheese popcorn that was crunchy. None of these are. No. Hmm. The kind the if you ever buy the tinned popcorn, popcorn tins at Christmas, whatever, and now they do them for every holiday. They do Easter. It's t it's like a regular popcorn. These are these are all. All three of these are softer than you ever have gotten in that tin. And I think it's the kind of, they've all used that really nice popcorn mm -hmm. though. Think about it, the popcorn tins use the cheap popcorn. You get tons of holes. holes. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten hardly any holes at all with these big pieces of popcorn. So I think that's the biggest difference is they're all using good quality popcorn. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna get a lot of- um, I went through and tried them all again. Uh, what would you think? I think they're, like Tammy said, they're splitting hair. It they're is splitting very, hairs. very close. I think after going through them all again, I still think I like Coco G's just slightly better because it's, it's, it seems the to cheese have more, more, yeah, the cheese what? flavor comes through a lot more. The aftertaste is a little stronger. Yes. But, but honestly, any of them would be good. <laughs> this is nice, but this is going to be my last pick. I'm gonna, this is the order. And it still is good. I'm not saying anything bad about the company. I think it's terrific popcorn. I think you could pick up any of these. Any of these, yes, you're gonna be happy. But I'm gonna put them in order. This is my third place. The Badger's getting the second place. And the Coco's getting the first place. The way we order, we try them. Yeah, so what do you <laughs> think? Um, truly, they're all interchangeable for me. They, I mean, they really are all delicious. If I were to go in and buy a bag, I'm probably gonna get look at prices and see what I want to spend. That's just the truth. Mm -hmm. I got one haul. After eating all that popcorn, I got one haul. So I'm telling you, it's all good quality popcorn. It, it all has a great flavor. This one, and though just slightly beats out the other ones. So now I would like to know from people who live in the area. What's your vote? Is there is there supposed to be one that's you know bougier than the other ones, and we just we don't know, you know, so we're just trying them blind basically. Uh, we don't know anything about these places, mm -hmm. so you'll have to let us know which is your favorite, you know, or is it you know are you content to pick up any of these two? Because honestly, you'd be happy with any. Yeah, yeah. Because most people don't pick up all three flavors and try them all at the same time, mm -hmm. and so you wouldn't even know. Right. Yeah. But uh, thank you very much to Austin and Amanda for yeah, some of this. These will make good snacks at night. Yes, they will. Very good. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.